So now that we've talked about doing two sample hypothesis testing, where we both talked about um, sampling two proportions or two means, uh, we're going to dive a little bit deeper into the mean side. Like, what happens if we want to test more than just two groups together at the same time? What if we have, like, um, a farm and we are feeding our cows or our pigs and we're trying to get them uh, ready uh, to be shipped out and we're trying to get them as large as possible and we could have maybe a whole bunch of different types of feed options maybe we've got five or six feed options well we could take time and like do like these little comparisons of comparing one to another and then one to another but it kind of takes a lot of time it would be so much easier if we could compare all of them at the same time and then figure out like are any of them different from one another or could we even use one to um, that would make our you know, pigs or cattle uh, have you know better weight gain than others like that would be really nice it'd help save us a lot of time and that's what we can actually do with what's called ANOVA testing Okay, and ANOVA, it's, it's an acronym. It stands for analysis. Analysis of variance. And what this lets us do is it lets us compare multiple groups together at the same time. Uh, it's interesting because the, the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis are actually set up a little bit differently now. So in order to set up our null and our, and our alternative, the null hypothesis is that, um, is that all, all true means Are the same. Which is saying that all groups have the same mean. If that's that's our baseline assumption. This is always the, the case. And so like mathematically we can kind of write this out as like um, mu1 equals mu2 equals mu3 dot 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 for however many groups that we actually have. Now the alternative hypothesis is a little bit different. So be careful with the alternative hypothesis. Here what it is is that there is is at least at least one comparison different is significant. Okay, so we want to be able to say this uh, because it's not that they're all different from one another. It doesn't have to be that. It just has to be that. So let's suppose we have mu1, mu2, and mu3. So the baseline is that they are all the same. The alternative is that there's at least one comparison in there that is different. Like if we were to, to compare mu1 to mu2, that one might be different. Mu1 to mu3, that one might be different. Or mu2 to mu3. So we had those three possible, uh, possible outcomes or possible comparisons. They're called pairwise comparisons. There's at least one comparison that is statistically significant. So if, if we had 100 groups, if there's just one that was found to have a significant difference, then we would be able to conclude the alternative uh, hypothesis. Um, it's not that they're all different. It's just that we have to find one comparison that, that is different. So this is kind of just the baseline of what the our ANOVA testing is. It allows us to test multiple means together at the same time, and that there is if we will find significant results if there's at least one significant comparison. And we'll dive in into some of the requirements and some of the assumptions that are necessary for us to run our ANOVA test.